All right, now let's kick start off with the green light for nuclear power plant. As the Ministry of Energy and the Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Company are now in agreement after a memorandum of understanding to construct, the long awaited $9 billion nuclear power plant was signed. 2,000 megawatts are to be generated following the installation in Buyanda District. Pedersen Mumbere gathered the report. The long-awaited nuclear power plant to be constructed in Wiend District now seems likely after a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development plus the South Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Company, a subsidiary of Capco, was signed. This exchange between Uganda and the Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Company According to data from the Ministry of Energy, the $9 billion U.S. dollar project will generate 2,000 megawatts, an improvement from 1,200 megawatts produced from the current installations. Speaking at the African Nuclear Business Platform in Kampala, the President of Uganda, His Excellency Yuri Kaguta Museveni, asserted how nuclear power will provide reliable and sustainable power supply to boost socio-economic development at a time when countries are dealing with energy poverty. It is held at a critical time when nations are dealing with how to ensure their energy security for socio-economic development. Charles Gunter from GNA Advisory and a legal council on international nuclear matters believes that the move to integrate nuclear into the country's energy mix is a robust move Uganda should impact on to diversify electricity generation. Of course, Uganda is on the right course for developing nuclear power. Um, the country is highly engaged with experts from the IEA following the milestones approach, um, also seeking expert ex expertise from um, INVAP and other outside experts. So um, Uganda is utterly on the right course. Um, of course, Uganda has hydropower. Uganda uses biomass. You have um, wind availability. The unique aspects of nuclear is that you can provide power at any time of the day um, and you can supplement those other resources with this continual power. The State Minister for Energy and Mineral Development, Centros Opolot Okasai, says that at least 20 Ugandans graduated in the nuclear energy sector from countries such as the UK, South Korea, Russia and China. He further notes that the government is to set up a center for nuclear excellence at Soroti University to train more Ugandans in the nuclear sector. Young graduates were sent out for training. 20 of them were sent out to various countries which are already advanced in nuclear science. And this included uh, the United Kingdom. Nuclear Business Platform is an organization is, which is deeply committed to having or to see the African continent prosper via having nuclear energy as part of its energy mix. We sincerely believe that nuclear energy being one of the most cleanest form of energy is very much needed and will aid African countries in their quest to reach first level nation status and also to drive in the industrialization. Uganda is expressing an ever-increasing population, economic growth, and raising social needs that require the sustainable development of energy resources. According to the Ministry of Energy, the power from the nuclear power project is anticipated to be added to the national grid by 2031. The construction of the nuclear power plant in Wiende district will reduce the demand for electricity that is estimated to grow at about 10% annually, higher than the growth of the electricity generation in the country. However, critics say that not until this nuclear power plantation is complete, Uganda will always record the electricity shortage, even when it has surplus from other electricity sources. Pedson Mumbere, Smart 24 TV, Business Today.